Hey up, Mr. Josh here again, Monday morning, and uh, I'm trying out a new microphone today to try and get rid of all the background noise of my noisy neighbours and car horns and taxis and dogs and whoosh, everything else. So how do I sound? Do I sound better? Do I sound super sexy now? Hello ladies. Actually saying that, I used to have a student from, I think she was from the Ukraine or something like that, who said, I don't agree with most of what you say, but I just love the sound of your voice. Hey, send me the money, I don't care. Talking of strange students, something happened this week which made me stop and think and think, yeah, this might make a good video. As I was saying goodbye to someone, I said, well, I've got to go because I fancy a cup of tea. And this student looked at me like I'd gone crazy. She sort of did like a double take and like, you're going to do what to a cup of tea? I'm like, no, I just fancy a cup of tea. So, yeah. And it made me stop and think that, yeah, okay, perhaps if you're not English, this does sound a bit crazy. So when we say, as an English person, that I fancy a cup of tea, I don't mean I want to have sex with it, okay? What I mean is, I just want a cup of tea. I'm in the mood for a cup of tea. I have a yearning for a cup of tea. I've been sat here talking on Skype for two hours non-stop. I need tea now, please. Because, of course, the other way that the word fancy gets used is to talk about sexual attraction. You know, I fancy Angelina Jolie, or you might fancy Brad Pitt, or you might fancy George Clooney, or someone like that. Whatever you fancy, it's like an attraction thing. So when you hear a British person say, you know, they fancy something, it just means they have a need for it. It doesn't mean they want to have sex with it. Anyhow, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I need the love. I'm a very needy person. And uh, hit the like button as well. And uh, I'll see you on Thursday. Ciao for now.